So it's Tuesday, and I want to share a thought that's been rolling around in my mind for the last couple of days. And uh, it's not just a thought, but the Holy Spirit dropped this verse in my spirit. And it's just kind of been rolling around, and it's, there's much food in the fallow ground of the lazy man. And I started thinking, man, that must be a scripture. And so I started looking it up, and there's versions of it, and probably 20 different versions. Some are um, that there's uh, that it's taken away because of da- bad decisions, or um, it's because of injustice, or it's been robbed or stolen. There's all these different reasons why, but the thing that kept bouncing out at me was that there's food in the fallow ground. And that just really hit me really, really, really deep and hard because I started wondering what fallow ground is in our lives that there is, there's finances, there's provision, there's, you know, some amazing thing waiting for us and it's in us already. It's already been planted there. It's already there. And, um, and as I've been exploring that, I was like, God, show me the fallow ground that's been untapped in my own life. And I want to say that I'm, I don't have it all figured out. But what I do believe is, is that every one of us has some fallow ground in our lives and we need to tap into it. We're going into a year that's supposed to be the open door and the hand that opens the door. And I believe that completely. But I want to tell you that there's also, there is, there is, I don't want to say a war, but there is something that doesn't want you to enter into this year of the open door doesn't want you to enter into your provision, your finances. And I, I've talked to a lot of people recently, and they're struggling financially. They're struggling in a lot of different areas. But I want to tell you this. If you'll ask God, where is the open, where is that, the, the open door for me? Where is that provision? Where is the fallow ground in my life that I haven't tilled up? And, you know, some of it is, um, some of it's, talents that have never been explored, talents that have never been developed. Maybe it's a dream that God's put in your heart for years and years and years, and you put it off for this reason or that reason. I want to tell you that this is your year. This is your time. Ask God to give you a revelation of the fallow ground in your life and begin to plow that ground and to plant that ground and to see, begin to see a harvest come from that ground. Because I want to tell you what, there is a harvest for you, and it's not three months, six months, ten months down the road. There are some things that can be turned around for you in a day, in a moment, in an hour. There's things that have been laid up for you that need to be unlocked. There's inheritances. There are finances. There's favorable judgments. There's things that belong to you. You just need to hear, Jesus, where is my open door? Where is that fallow ground? What do I need to do to break it up? And I'm telling you, Jesus is going to meet you. He has been encountering me in the last day and a half in ways that are unprecedented for me. Uh, even just today, God says, don't worry. The finances are coming. And two hours later, there's finances coming. And he's been teaching me to trust him and to believe him and to stand in faith. And I'm, it's it's not always easy, but when you do it, it turns everything around for you. And this is the year that things begin to turn around for you. This is the moment. Don't back up. Don't slow down. Don't give up. Keep going after this. Because I'm telling you, there are things that have been waiting for you for a very long time. Some things have been stolen from you. Some things have been hidden from you. There have been times when you've made bad decisions, but God's turning all that around for you today. This is your day. Go after it in Jesus' name. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.